mean, does he, he know how very much I'm looking forward to this, doesn't he? Of course he knows. Then where is he? Look, he, I'm yeah. ready, and he's Look, not even here just yet. relax. Now, it's early yet. He's still at the office. Now, you just sit tight here, and I'll get you your medicine. Still at the, the office? Daddy's still at the office. Daddy's at the office already. Then I'm late. Oh, Daddy was my You said something about a class this afternoon? How can you think about classes at a time like this? We should be languishing in one another's arms. It's a nice word, isn't it? <coughs> languishing. And languishing lovers on lassitude shore sigh sweetly and vow that they'll love evermore. Yeah. Why, Russ Weaver, I do believe you're shy. Well, you know how it is. I do, and you know what? What? I think it's cute. Would you like me to stay? Yeah, I'd like you to stay. Of course I would. I just, I just don't want to, you know, I hate to see you miss that class. I believe you. Russ, you did enjoy our... Enjoy? Come on. Of course I did. Why could you even say that? You seem so distant. I feel like you're pushing me out the door. No, no, I'm not, I'm not pushing you out the door. Look, it's just because, you know, I feel bad because I've taken so much of your time today. Well, you're the most important thing I can do with my time. Good. Don't you forget it. Thanks. You think I'm cheap, don't you? No, I don't think you're cheap. Well, I, I can see it in your eyes that you do. I don't do this kind of thing all the time. Sheila, I know you're not that way. Well, you're darn right I'm not. I feel for you is special. I just assumed it was the same for you. We went wrong. Really? Yeah. I love you. I love you. Thank you for coming in to see me, Mrs. Cummings. Oh, no problem. <clears throat> How is Jill getting along? Well, this experience seems to have changed her. It's, it's a subtle change, but I, I think I see a, a different attitude. I'm not surprised, and uh, maybe it was a good thing. It's better that she learned the consequences of her actions now rather than later when it might be something worse than shoplifting. Mm -hmm. What are her plans? Well, she, she doesn't really have any. She could go back to school or, or even get a job. She uh, doesn't seem very interested in anything. The one thing she does best is fix cars. <laughs> now, there's a talent I always wished I had. Yeah, she really is a good little mechanic. The more I learn about Jill, the more interesting she becomes. What has it been like? I mean, taking a runaway off the street into your own home, it must have been quite a commitment. Well... Jeff and I both wanted to do it. We felt that we could give her something that she'd missed out on most of her life. Missed out on? Well, she's adopted, you know. Her real parents abandoned her, and uh, her adopted parents have split up, so she's had several stepfathers since, and now her own mother won't speak with her. Her mother? I mean, her adopted mother. So it's no wonder her values are distorted. I see. Jeff and I felt that the least we could do is look after her, and. Give her some guidance. She's had so little. And how has that worked out? Well, I'll be honest with you, it hasn't been easy. She seems to resent us for trying to help. Well, maybe no one's ever tried to help her before. Maybe. In fact, Terry Davidson gets through to her better than anyone else. Terry? She seems to be able to talk with her. Uh, <laughs> I try, but uh, I don't know. It just doesn't... I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be burdening you with my problems. Oh, no. It's no burden at all. I mean, anything that has to do with Jill is my concern. Well, Jeff and I both appreciate all that you've done. I've hardly done anything, really. <clears throat> 
Jill is coming in to see me this afternoon, isn't she? Yes. She seems like such a nice girl. I would like to see her get back on the right track. So would we. sees how pretty everybody else thinks I am, then he'll just come on back to me. <laughs> what is that? That's lovely. Where'd you get it? Oh, I don't know. I think a little boy gave it to me. A little boy named Frederick. Well, here, have some more of it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now, I do look okay, don't I? Please, now, just be honest with me, because I really need your help. Miriam, your father's gonna take one look at you, and believe me, our troubles will be over. Oh, that's good, Nancy. But you, you know what? I I just really feel strange because I just I want to lie down and go to sleep, but when I try to, I just can't. Is your headache still bothering you? Mm, yes, it's worse. And and see, I know you you try to tell me to be strong and and wait, but I just I need more medicine now. Well, I think now could be just fine. I'll get the right combination of medicines, and we'll take care of all your problems, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, would you just please hurry, though, please, because um, I know when I take it, I'll just feel all right at once I take them. All right, why don't you just sit yourself right down here, and Nancy will take care of you. Daddy won't forget, will he? I mean, does he know how much, very much, I'm looking forward to this? He doesn't Of course, he? don't worry about it. Well, then why isn't he here yet? He, I'm looking up here ready all now, and he's Relax. not here yet. Relax. He's early. I mean, he's still at the office. Now, just sit tight, and I will get you your medicine. The office? Daddy's still at the office. Oh, no. Daddy's still at the office, and then I must be late. Daddy wouldn't like that. I'd better hurry. Sheila, go in the bedroom, please. What's going on? Listen, just, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Please. This is crazy. Listen, Sheila, if you love me, you'll just do it, okay? I'll answer all your questions later now. Just go, please, go. Hi. Hi. Dumb key uh, wouldn't open the door. No, maybe that's good. I mean, uh, it's harder for people to get in. Russ, you gotta believe me that there was nothing between Cohen and me. Honey, I love you. I don't want to stay in New York because I had to come back and make sure you understood. Babe, I'm so sorry. I was so scared that I thought that I, I loved you. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Do you believe me? Yes, of course I believe you. It's stupid for me to act the way I did. Yeah. I'd never be unfaithful to you, honey. Never. Look, babe, let's, let's just get out of here, okay? I just got back. Yeah, I know you did. I know you just got back, and I want to be with you. I really do, but not here. It's just this place has got too many memories. Well, Boom. Listen, babe, every time I turn around here, everything I look at, I see Cohen. Please, let's just go. Yeah, I understand that. And that's something we're going to talk about, too. Okay. I'll tell you something, Russell Weaver. When we get back here, all those things you've been missing are going to be taken care of. Mm. Yeah, taken mm. care of. Yeah. <laughs>
Rose, where is Mrs. Davidson's report on the construction of the new nurse's wing? Oh? Well, make sure she picks it up on her way out. Well, as I was saying, in the report you'll find an outline of your new duties. Now, you'll not only be overseeing the curriculum for the new nurse's school, but you'll also be making sure that the new wing meets the needs of the hospital. Now, to this end, you'll find yourself working very closely with the contractor who's building it for us. And who will that be? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Yes, Rose? Well, that's right, yes. That's right, Jason Prescott. He's here? Well, how fortunate. Send him in. Jason Prescott is the fellow's name. Oh. Oh. oh, Mr. Prescott, how thoughtful of you to come just when we needed you. We had an appointment this morning, Lester, remember? Oh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, this is, uh... Hiya, Mrs. Davidson. Mr. Prescott. You sure you didn't get that report? Oh, no, uh, Mr. Prescott and I are acquaintances. Yes, we met under rather strained circumstances, but we're trying to improve upon that. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, Mr. Lewis says that we'll be working closely together over the next few mm -hmm. months. That's right. When the project was first proposed, why, uh, Ida Taylor was going to be the hospital liaison. But uh, now, why, uh, I think I heard one of the nurses call her the dragon lady? Well, tell him I'll be right there. I'm sorry, but uh, something very drastic has come up. I'm afraid you'll have to go on without me. Of course. Uh... I'm afraid circumstances are still rather strained. Oh? Mr. Prescott, I don't approve of your son taking my son out for drinks after work. Gil did that. I, I, I thought you knew. No, I didn't, and I'm putting my foot down right now. That's enough of that. Well, then you don't approve. Of course not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you find it funny. No, I don't. It, it's just that it looks like I owe you an apology again. For what? Well, I don't somehow I thought you were behind all this. Oh, no, no, Mrs. Davidson. Gil and I have been round and round about his lifestyle. <laughs> I just think he considers me out of it. Well, it's nice to know that I'm not the only parent who believes in a little self-control. Well, I think Gil would refer to that as uh, parental interference. He says it comes from me not praying hard enough for him. I is that something you do often? Nope. Constantly. <laughs> You know, Mrs. Davidson, if we had any sense, we'd slip away from here and discuss that new wing where Lester couldn't find us. Well, I don't think that place exists, but I'm all for trying. Come on. Alistair Ma, no, I, I've never heard of that. Are you sure, certain that you have the right Charles Carpenter? Yes, yes, but that does sound like my daddy. See, he's in the trucking business. He just hates shopping most. He'd always said that. Uh-huh. I have heard of your bank. Uh, please don't be angry with me. I'm sorry. See, if daddy finds out, he might fire me. Hello? Hello? Okay, now I'll get to work. I'll get to work. I'll do my job, and I look pretty, and... I'll do it. Oh, please don't. I'm sorry. Don't tell Daddy, okay? Of course, this is Charles Carpenter's office. And But see, would you promise me that you won't tell him that I've set you? Okay. See, yes, I'm his daughter, and I want very, very much to help you. Would you please just let me help you? Oh, no, I, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about it. Everybody keeps talking about Hollister Mall, and I, I don't know what Hollister... Daddy? What are you doing here? Oh, Daddy, I'm working for you, see? Ma'am, you haven't worked for me in months. Oh, Daddy, don't, don't fire me, please. See, I'm, I'm sorry I was late today, and I promise I won't do it again. Listen to me. Okay. You are ill, and you should be at home in bed. Oh, no, oh, Daddy. Thank I God don't. she's here. Well, you can thank somebody. Oh, now Is this your idea of taking her. care of her? Charles, she, I turned my back oh, for a second. She took the cars I, and stole it. She drove herself? She oh, could have been killed. Oh, Daddy, don't be mad at me. Would you please just tell me that everything's going to be okay? All right. Well, Ma'am, everything is going to be all right. Oh, all right. good. I'm glad. Now, do you see what I mean? She's lost all control. I have done everything I can for her. Well, this is obviously the last straw. I've got to do something about her. I have asked her. you repeatedly. I need your help. Well, I certainly isn't, hope that it isn't too late. Now, Mim, Mim, 
I want you to go home with Nancy right now. Oh, no, Daddy. Don't, don't send me home. Will you Daddy, please get I'll her out of here? Up. Preston's I'll coming over in a minute, and I don't I'll want him to see any of this. Okay. Come on, Mary. Yeah, Come on, Mary. Right. You're tired. You need no. a rest. Come yes, on. No, I don't. Yes, I need a rest. No. Oh, wait, Come. Daddy. I need Come. to. Miriam, You've no, got Mary. to have me help you. I need Come to help you. Daddy no, needs no. my help. Don't make me die. I don't know why we have to talk about the past. I mean, no one cared before. Well, don't you think it's time someone did start caring? Well, you're calling the shots, I guess. What was it like at home, Jill? Ever been to the circus? I really want to know. Well, I left. That should give you some idea. Some? I am sorry things have been so unpleasant for you. Unpleasant? That's kind of a gentle word, wouldn't you say? Unpleasant for you is when you don't go to lunch until 1.30, Judge Slaymaker. How does it sound when you don't get lunch at all? Or dinner? Or breakfast? Horrible. I like that word better. <clears throat> Did your mother ever talk to you about your real parents? She didn't have to. I knew that scene real well. Uh, probably the town tramp and one of her customers. Wouldn't want a little baby to spoil your lifestyle, right? What about your education? Now, that's one thing that hasn't been neglected. I've got the best education money can't buy from the streets these past couple of years on the road. I just thought that now that you've settled down, you might want to get back to school. <laughs> education is for people like you, Judge Slaymaker. And people like you and people like me don't have much in common. That's not true. We... You could do so much, Jill. I would be willing to help you. Why? What do you get out of it? The satisfaction of knowing I've helped someone reach their potential? That's a fancy way of saying that you want someone to kiss your feet and be obligated to you for the rest of your life. No thanks. Don't you see? I'm the one that feels obligated. I don't like where this conversation is leading. You know, I've been around. I recognize a scam when I see one. I know it sounds strange what I'm trying to do, but... You got it. I've seen cases like yours, Jill. Kids that are crying out for help and there's no one there. All I want to do is my part. I'm not crying out for anything, especially from you. I know your type, Judge Slaymaker. Ease a conscience. Take a runaway to lunch. I am offering you anything you need, financially or otherwise. How can you turn that down? Because I don't know where this is going to lead me. I don't know what your game is, and I don't know your angle. But you're not telling it to me straight. I don't know why Daddy sent me home, because I'm a good secretary, aren't I? Miriam, why don't you drink your hot milk? You know, whenever Daddy walks through the office, he calls me his little ray of sunshine. <laughs> Except today. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. You know, Charles has got so much on his mind. Uh-huh. I expect he does. Thank you for bringing me home, Nancy. Oh, you're welcome. You know what? You're a very good friend. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, we girls have got to stick together, don't we? Why don't you just put your head down on my lap and have a nice little rest? Oh, that would be so nice. Oh, my poor little baby. You've really had a rough day today, haven't you? Mm -hmm. You know, Mary, I think it's time we had a talk. Okay. I think you need a rest, a, a long rest. A nice long rest. I think we need to put you away. What? Didn't you know Charles is going to have to put you in a mental institution? No! Nancy! Well, yes, he's going to take you there himself. He sees how sick. No! 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 You're just lying because I'm not sick! No, Miriam, you've embarrassed him. Now he's forced to do this. No! No! This isn't true! You see, I'm fine! I'm just fine! You are not fine. You are crazy. Look at you. No! No! Come on! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Miriam, you are beyond help. We need to lock you up. No! No! There's no way around it. You're very, very sick. Nancy, no! No! Do this to me, Nancy! Please help me! Russ, 
I swear that is the last walk I'm ever going to take with you. My feet are killing me. Well, next time, wear sensible shoes. Well, next time, let me in the house long enough to put some sensible shoes on. Okay. You do believe that there's nothing between David and me, don't Becky, you? Becky, you've said that about a hundred times no, now. Well, maybe I need to hear it a hundred times. Yes, I believe you. I believe you. Thank you. I love you. And if you ever think that there's another man in my life that... I can... Do what? Oh, I'll show you how wrong you are. Oh, you do, huh? Mm. Listen, babe. I'm really sorry for the way I acted. I'm really sorry. I know I haven't <clears throat> showed this much to you, but I do love you. And I promise you, I'll never let anything stand between.